Aloha, YouTubers! Hi, I'm Rock, and I'm coming back at you with another live stream. And in today's live stream, I'm just doing, uh, I do have an unboxing. Uh, it's right behind me. And also, just gonna do a reflection uh, over what happened to me um, the past five years. You can say five years ago, um, I almost, or, or I, I, I did give up on this channel, uh, gave up on RC. Um, yeah, um, pretty much sold most of my RCs. I would say 90%. I was able to keep a few RCs. Um, also, sold all my filming equipment, my cameras, um, you name it, to make videos on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I, I, you can say I was pretty much, I want to say I, uh, the lowest point or the, uh, of my life. I've been through a lot worse. Um, was able to uh, pick myself up, survive, uh, continue moving forward, continue to progress. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, five years over five years ago. Uh, I mean, if you follow my channel, left my full time job. Uh, to, um, and the reason why I left my full-time job is because, you know, I wanted to start something uh, on my own. You know, like say, start a, start my own business, start a company. Uh, just just wanted a new f uh, start in life, new fresh, fresh, um, new something, start something new, something fresh, uh, something I haven't done in my life. Uh, I know it was gonna it was gonna be a big big challenge, um, long road ahead, you know. Um, but before I go back five years ago, I'm gonna go back. When did I start this channel? 2008, I think. So we're looking about almost 14 years ago. <laughs> uh, 14 years ago, uh, I think. This March, to make 14 years, um, I, I started this channel, made content on YouTube. Um, I know it hasn't gone the way I I planned it or expected it. Um, yeah, and, but it's all good, you know. No regrets. Um, it, it was a learning experience. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you start something new. Uh, you know, you think you have it all figured out, but you don't. Uh, so, you know. Live and learn. Uh, as long as you learn from your experiences um, and improve and get better, uh, there's only one direction you can go, and that's up. So yeah, um, yeah. Channel, my channel hasn't gone the way I expect, or wanted it, or expected. Um, so yeah, I was willing to give all that up, give up this channel, give up RC, uh, and just move on with my life. So yes, five years ago, over five years ago, I sold. Like I said, I sold all my RCs, sold all my filming equipment, and I think I think I disappeared for about three years, not doing content on YouTube. Um, I know it probably alienated and I probably lost a lot of subscribers and regular viewers um, during that time, but that was expected. You know, I don't, you know, uh, you know why would you want to, you know, stand by or support a quitter <laughs> you know I wouldn't uh, hey you know sometimes in life you have to make that major sacrifice you know in order to get ahead or get to where you want to go you have to be willing to make major sacrifices and that's something I was willing to do I was willing to sacrifice this channel sacrifice um, my RCs sacrifice my filming equipment um, that way I could get a new fresh uh, fresh start in life and hopefully it works out for the better uh, if not willing to make the uh, sacrifice uh, especially if not willing to change and evolve and adapt uh, you know you're not gonna get nowhere uh, you just continue you know ramming your head through that wall <laughs> and, f and finally lose your mind but so yeah but anyways uh, enough my my depressing talk you know, I, I have the past five years, I have learned a lot, grown a lot, 
Uh, I appreciate every single one of you that has stood by me to this very day. Um, you know, it's been an amazing um, journey, experience, uh, and it's not going to end, you know. I'm going to continue on. Uh, I'm going to continue making content on this channel, uh, continue to make awesome content, and, you know, hopefully I, I get to uh, build my RC collection, maybe not to, uh, maybe not to uh, as much as I once had it, you know, I probably could have opened up a RC hobby shop. <laughs> you know, I mean, with that, um, with all the RCs I had in the past, but I'm okay with the RCs I have now. I know when I when I made the commitment uh, to uh, upload content on this channel, and once again, I said I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna start big and go big, and hopefully take it from there. And I get, I think I did that. I think I uh, I think the first RC I bought. Um, well, actually committing back to making content on this channel is the Traxxas X Max. So you can say I went pretty big. Maybe not as big, but that I would say that's pretty big. That's pretty awesome. I think that's the best RC to start with. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, so started with the X Max, and I just end up getting the Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. The couple Amazon builds, and then the no prep drag racing that I'm into now. Uh, yeah, DR10, Traxxas Drag Slash, and the Low 22S 69 Camaro. It's not gonna stop from there, folks. Like I said, you no. Know, I think one of the goals this year was to upgrade my filming equipment. Uh, I started with uh, with my small rig uh, iPhone setup iPhone 13 Pro setup right here, pretty cool. Uh, this is part of the filming rig. Uh, I was also able to purchase the DJI Action 2 uh, camera, which is awesome. Gives you those, uh, give you folks those POVs, especially when um, I'm doing those uh, no prep drag uh, passes or shakedowns. Uh, give you a first person uh, perspective. So that's pretty cool. And then I finally did it folks I finally did it I was able to purchase me a pretty cool awesome well let's get to the box so here it is uh, unboxing this won't this probably won't be the well, maybe it depends uh, I'm gonna try to do a few unboxings in the uh, upcoming days I do have a few stuffs coming in uh, hopefully if they get here by the end of the week if not early part of next week um, so I'm looking forward to that uh, very cool interesting um, products to showcase you folks so here we go oh <laughs> the trusty razor so, I bought this on uh, Arurama. Arurama, it's a camera photography uh, online store. So, your bubble wrap. And, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? So, I went ahead and purchased me a Sony A7 IV. Mirrorless, uh, mir mirrorless DSLR. Yeah, A74. So this is gonna be a very huge and big part. Hey, Leo Watson, how's it going, my friend? Um, so this is gonna be a big part going forward in my channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to making cool and awesome content. Uh, I know I was using the uh, what you call the Logitech. Uh, real for a while as a webcam and then do and do do some things from um do some videos on that and i was using my iphone for some close-up pics but we got the camera rig now <laughs> um when i first started this channel i had a sony camcorder uh, and then that took very clear and Perfect pictures, 
and I was just waiting to see I was looking at several um, DLSS, DL, DSLRs I know I was looking at the Canon R1 uh, or the Canon EOS, EOS um, R1 mirrorless and I was always looking at the Sony, I was looking at the o Sony A7-4S, A7-3R, A7-3 and finally Sony came out with this A7-4 and I said no this is the perfect camera um, to do what I want to do or to make content and videos on YouTube so I bought it with uh, I think this is a what is this yeah, 20 to 35 millimeter lens I think um, yeah so pretty much for the medium close-up shots right there so that's part of the content with the e, e Sony e mounts everything's falling down and then here I guess you get a camera strap I think this is my first ever DSLR I ever bought in my entire life <laughs> A charger or USB connector, yeah. What else we got in the box? Oh, the battery, lithium ion. Yeah, and here it is. The bad boy. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than I expected. So yeah. Oh, point and shoot. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> There's a view fun finder, L C D screen, flip. In 360 so pretty cool um, you know I, I'm not a camera expert I'm gonna definitely learn how to do some cool cinematography and and photography I, o I ordered another lens for this camera so I sh should be getting that too but uh, hopefully at by end of this week. End of this. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, there we go. Are you ready? Let's see if I can see myself. You see that part is on. Yeah, pretty excited. The reason why I bought this camera is because I plan to do a lot more build videos. So that the way you get folks can get an up close view of my build builds. Uh, I'm setting up a temporary uh, RC uh, setup for builds, so that's something to look forward to. You know, so that's about it. Just uh, want to showcase. I guess the reason why for this live stream and for this video is because I wanted to sh show you my viewers that I ain't going nowhere. I'm making the investment um, in into this YouTube channel, the Rock RC YouTube channel. Uh, making investment in you folks, um, hope just to give, uh, hopefully, to give you guys, you know, cool content, uh, cool RC content. Um, also, like I said, I'm expanding. I'm probably start up uh, different art, uh, YouTube channels, uh, and not only that on YouTube, but Twitch and uh, other social media platforms. So I'm gonna learn about how to use this camera, and hopefully I get better as a not only a cinematographer but a um, a photographer. So yeah, looking forward. I know this can be also be a cool webcam. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, anyways, like I said, uh, I have a lot of cool things coming in the future. Hey, Brandon, how's it going? Uh, I have, yeah, I have a lot of cool things coming in the future, in a very close, very uh, near future. Um, like, yeah, I'm making an investment. I'm making a big investment into this RC channel. Yes, I have two cool RCs to showcase. Uh, hopefully, if not by the end of this week, early next week. Uh, a very cool build series uh, I'm going to do soon. So just preparing myself, uh, getting the necessary equipment uh, to take this channel to the next level uh, to make it better, have a better content. Uh, DR10 running nice. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I was amazed on how well um, the launch is, um, how smooth and the launch is for the, how much a difference that, 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 that Revolution, uh, Revolution Designs, DR10 Solid Axle uh, did. Gone are those uh, sharp lefts off the launch. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to also do a lot of cool content on DR10. Um, I, I purchased a couple. I purchased an ESC upgrade to the DR10. I'm not too sure if I want to put in the drag slash though. So I'm just debating. Um, and also gonna do the um, the spur gear and pinion gear uh, content. Yeah, I, I'm planning to do a lot of upgrades for the DR10. Uh, I want to try to get that thing. Uh, hopefully. 70 miles per hour and 132 feet pass and also try to get it in the low twos. Um, I think it's, it, it, I think it's a, uh, it's, it's, the goal is reachable. Um, it is possible. So yeah. Um, yeah. So I yeah, look forward to that. But, um, you know, when I started this channel, uh, I guess you can say my roots or I be began first started with the, uh, uh, Tamiya Toyota Tundra, um, scaling, crawling, and I'm then definitely in the near future. I'm gonna focus more into scaling and crawling. Uh, I always promise you folks my um, cool, beautiful scenery that I wanted to share with you folks uh, on my island. So look forward to that. Uh, yeah. So that's about it for this live stream. Thanks, Leo Watson, Brandon Timbin for joining in the chat. Uh, like I said, look forward to couple surprises coming up yeah so appreciate you guys thanks for sticking around me for the past 14 years especially those who stuck around uh, and stood by my side for the past five years I know I know um, I appreciate you guys and I definitely um I'm gonna show you guys my appreciation and my you know my gratefulness uh, hopefully in the near future or sometime in the future um what is your favorite one now you have all of them laughing out oh you mean out of the three um between the drag slash the r10 and the low c oh i love the i love the the drag slash <laughs> i think i'm gonna buy me another drag slash and uh probably end up doing some upgrades to this uh, current drag slash i have now so look forward to that um yeah i'll probably um see if a high gear and high gear and uh low turn or high R high kv motor is the combo to go or vice versa uh, so I, i'm gonna do a lot of tuning and testing both on the jack slash and the dr10 i like the dr10 too i love the dr10 um I like that uh, there's a lot of upgrades for it. So, you know me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an upgrade guy. I like to mod things, change things up. Um, <clears throat> what about the low C? <laughs> uh, the low C needs work. Um, if you guys want to see that video, I'll show you that video. I'll probably post it up in the near future. Yeah. So, with the low C, um, what I did was I went into the ESC settings uh, so I dropped it down from level 4 uh, start launch mode to level 1 and I thought you know powering it down would help with the launches uh, but you have to wait to see foresee uh, you folks just gonna have to wait and see that video 
yeah, so the low C needs a lot of attention. Um, but right now I'm just gonna focus on the, the drag sash and DR10, and probably do the low C um, in the f maybe later on. Um, yeah, I think the low C needs a lot of tuning. <laughs> it needs a, lo a lot of tuning. Uh, I don't think low C dialed that 22s right out of the box. Not like how Traxxas did with the drag slash. Um, yeah, kind of, I'm uh, kind of disappointed with the low C 22S. Um, you know, I was wrong. I thought that would be the best out of the three, uh, in regards to it being very competitive, but, um, uh, mm, yeah, like with all low C products. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, if the low C, I really want to like it, but it, it needs, it needs a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of potential, but it just needs a lot of work. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, that's it uh, for this live stream. Um, once again, uh, lo lo <laughs> live stream. Uh, yeah, I, I I'm gonna share you folks with that the video on the Losi 22s. Uh, <laughs> it's not it's not it's not one of my greatest videos, um, but yeah. If you want to get into a uh, no prep drag racing. Uh, I would definitely get the drag slash, number one. Number two, I would get the DR10, and then number the low C, I wouldn't even touch it. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I wouldn't even touch it. But I I think you can't go wrong with the drag slash, and you can't go wrong with the uh, uh, DR10. You know the 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 drag slash, it can be competitive right out of the box once you install that high speed pinion gear. Uh, I was able to get 2.9s. I was able to get 2.9 seconds on the drag slash, and I was consistently getting 3.0 uh, or 3 second, 3.0 times on the drag slash. It's very consistent. I think that's what you want uh, in a drag, no prep drag RC. It just being very consistent. Uh, yeah, and the DR10, I mean, it, that one you you have to be willing to uh, uh, do upgrades, uh, but you don't have to spend a whole lot on the DR10. I think to make it very competitive. I think just installing that uh, Revolution Design um, solid axle, uh, it, it, it improves, it does improve the launches. I was shocked, I was surprised. Um, and then I think next is about work, uh, yeah, next is about the gearing. I think you, you can accomplish um, with the right gearing. We can probably be competitive once you figure out the right gearing for the DR10. Uh, and then if you really want to, you know, make it very, like, if you want, you, if you want to win ra races or um, events, you, then I think you're going to have to be uh, willing to change out at least the brushless motor. Or you still could keep the same brushless motor. It's just, like, depends on the gearing. And then I think um, the next thing I would uh, change out on the DR10 is the rear wheels and tires. Actually, I was looking uh, to... Um, buy more um, the drag slash rear tires wheels and tires and um, putting it on the DR10 uh, the, the drag slash has the best uh, rear tires um, in my opinion it's very sticky very soft uh, great for launches great for high torque applications uh, so I'll probably end up doing that uh, if I, I'm not too sure I know it's wider than the, the stock DR10s so I may, I don't know, I may have to change out the body on that DR10 if I do that mod. But yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, and then maybe get some um, adjustable shocks with stiffer springs, uh, especially for the rear. Uh, you don't really need, uh, yeah. You probably, you probably don't even have to change out the front shocks, just mostly the rear, make, make sure it's more stiff. Uh, and then that way you can adjust it a lot easier on the track instead of using shims. And yeah, oh, I think that yeah, I think the twenty, the low C twenty two S. Um, I think you need shims because it does uh, have a lot of play on the front wheel, and then maybe that's why. Uh, maybe that's why I'm, uh, it, I wasn't getting the enough traction. So you know, I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> but the Jack Slash also ran out of the box, man. No tuning, no no mods, no nothing. Uh, just change out the high speed pinion and you're good to go. A dirty seed, get pro line reaction, rear tire, DR belted. Yeah, I was looking into that. Um, probably, you know, I guess gonna have to buy several different tires and just try it out and um, see what's what's best and what works. But definitely look into the. Uh, looking at the pro line reaction. Um, thank you, Dirty C. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, well, the J no pep jag racing, man. That that passion has burned. I'm a, a addicted to no pep jag racing. Uh, you know, once you get this guy, right? And this is one thing I recommend too. This the uh, Sky RC J GNSS uh, performance analyzer. The cheapest you can get it on is Amazon. I've seen it uh, as low as sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. On Amazon with free shipping, and, and I mean not just only for no prep jack racing, but for all different types of platforms, uh, different types of RCs, um, bashing, uh, track, you know, anything. This thing, once <laughs> this just gives you so much great information to learn, uh, learn about your RCs and learn about how electronics works. Um, I'm glad I've got this. I'll probably get another one just for backup. But again, yeah, um, looking forward to installing these gears. Um, I may just change out the spur gear first and then do the pinions, but I don't know. We'll see. And do some test runs on that to find the right gearing. So, yeah. Yeah. A lot of plans for no prep jag racing and trying to find out when they're gonna have the event. Um, I think that King of the Streets, Las Vegas. Uh, I didn't. I don't think they have anything scheduled right now for 2022. Um, but I definitely, look, maybe I'll be headed to the mainland and maybe do some local races. See if I can uh, get in touch with some people. See if um, you know they have some uh, events that I can attend. And compete in <laughs> but uh, you know but yeah m one thing at a time yeah but yeah but yeah that's it for this live stream and once again leo watson brandon timblin dirty c appreciate you guys uh joining the chat uh also to my next live stream take care and aloha shaka and i'm out